Murphy here with this week's newest Warhammer news video where I look at the news from the Warhammer community website, share with you guys with my thoughts and opinions and I like to get a little bit of feedback from you guys as well so it's always nice to hear from you in the comments section below. So a lot of news coming up in this video, we have the Spiel 2019 tabletop convention news, there's a lot of long term news coming out in that, but most importantly yesterday, which was Sunday, we had news about the release date of the Ossiarch Bone Reapers, and that's what I'm going to open up this video with, the Ossiarch Bone Reapers news. So over the last month or two we've had a lot of Ossiarch Bone Reapers news, last week was the first time we got to get our hands on stuff with the new starter set Feast of Bones going up for pre-order, but next week as in the 2nd of November, the Saturday coming up, Everything that has been talked about with the Ossiarch Bone Reapers is up for pre-order now. That is a lot of stuff. There is so much stuff coming up for pre-order Saturday. It's crazy that how expensive this is going to cost everyone. So altogether, we have eight new units coming up for pre-order. This is, as I said, this is a big pre-order. It's pretty crazy. Uh, so first off, we have the Jenner. We have the Orphan Catatross. I hope, hopefully, I'm pronouncing all these right. Um, but he is the general of the army. He's the big guy. Very as techy and looking. If any of you guys have played any of the last two Mortal Kombat games, there's a very big similarity between him and Kotal Khan. But yeah, the general, he's the big guy, he's the head honcho of the army. Very nice looking model, can't wait to see what he's going to be like. So secondly, we have the Wizards of the Army, the Martissians. Now, we've, there's three of these, it's broken down into Martissian Soul Reaper, Martissian Bone Shaper, and then finally, the Martissian Soul Mace. And we've seen Soul Mace, I think, about three weeks ago, coming up on the pre-orders. So it's great to have like three separate wizards. Now, it doesn't say if these are all like one set and you can make one of them, but uh, I think they're three separate ones for now. Thirdly, we have what is probably my favourite unit of the army. This is... The army's dual, this is the first dual kit that's in this list. We have the League Kalos and Arc Kavalos Zandust. Now one of these guys is, is kind of mirrored on the first starter set that came out for Age of Sigmar with the guy with the Stormcast Eternal and the Dracot. Uh, kind of rearing up on the back holding up the arm so it's it's mirrored on that it even mentions it on the website very cool looking model definitely my favorite of the pre-orders so far and then we have the backbone of the army which is the motec guard now these are going to be the backbone of the army you're going to have a lot of these it does say in the description about them that they are interchangeable it doesn't say whether you can take out the spears and give them swords but it says like there's interchangeable shields and heads and stuff like that so hopefully you can have a look on the sprues on the website but um, hopefully you might be able to swap out a few spears for swords, that's what I'd really like, I'm not too fond of spears or skeletons, I like the old uh, sword and board combination. And then we have the vanguard of the army, the fast attack, these guys are the Kavalos Debt Riders. These are these look huge, they look very big, they have their skeleton horses, they're armoured, they're not too heavily armoured, just a little bit, and they're, the, they're a fast option for the army. And then you have their counterpart, which is the Necropolis Stalkers, now these guys, it says that these are the heavy hitters of the army, they're kind of the opposite of the Death Riders, they're not going to be fast, but once they get into combat, they're supposedly meant to be devastating. And then we have the big monster of the army, we have the Godazar Harvester, now people will be more familiar with this guy as the monster with the little skeleton guy coming out of his crotch. Uh, very weird looking aesthetic that is, overall he looks really nice, but that little skeleton guy coming out of his crotch is completely out of the blue, I don't know how it fits in, um, but as I said in about a million videos before, if it's a little bit different and it's kind of okay, I like it. Um, it's kind of one of these things that you have to look twice at and it gets you thinking. But apart from that, very cool looking monster, very big. That It says it has interchangeable heads, interchangeable weapons, different options. And it said on the description that no, it's easy to make these, a couple of these, and none of them will be the same. So that's a very good sign for this one. I'd imagine this guy is going to cost a fortune. He looks like a big kit. And I love the skull. Very much looks like a Skaven head. A Skaven skull so that might be something that I might have to get in the future maybe this kit just for that and see what I can do with it and then finally if the army didn't have enough they have a long range hitter with the Martek crawlers now this is like a mix between the old uh, Bretonian trebuchet and a, a big cannibal thing and it, it's like the final piece of what the army needs it has wizards it has big hitters it has fast guys it has 
uh, huge uh, huge unit in the Mortec Guard and then you have its long range hitter as well. So as I said there is a lot up for pre-order this Saturday, no prices have been given but it's really good to see these guys coming out a good bit before Christmas. I'd hate to have these coming out maybe three weeks before Christmas so at least if you wanted to get stuff for Christmas you know what they're you know that they're out now and you know the price that they're going to be. So I am especially looking forward to the God Desire uh, Harvester simply because I want that skull. I really want it. Um, and what was the other guys? Uh, the League Kavalos and the Art Kavalos Zandos. Them two are definitely what I want to get from this army. Um, but everything in it is really nice looking. I'm excited to see them. I can't wait to see what people do with these and how to paint them up and everything, and everything like that. Uh, there has been some early reviews of the army book, the battle tome, and apparently these guys are meant to be like broken. They're meant to be super strong. Um, but I suppose that will all change in time once people start attending tournaments with them. And then we'll see what they're like as well. But model wise, these are fantastic. God, I'm kind of out of breath after doing all that. God, that was a big read. So the other big news that came out, which was late last week, was the German tabletop convention Spiel, or Spiel, I don't know how to pronounce it. 2019, now this is a very big gaming convention and uh, it's only the first time I've heard of it anyway and um, maybe it's the first time that Games Workshop have done something big at it. A lot of news come out of it now, none of this has a release date or anything like that so it's more like kind of future orientated probably uh, after uh, Christmas so you're looking maybe early 2020 for some of these releases. Now we have Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Warcry and even even more new Bandai stuff. So a lot of stuff to cover here with this. So we start off with the Necromunda. Now the Necromunda models are really nice. I really like how how they have done Necromunda. It's come out in kind of chunks, and every uh, I was going to say warband. They're kind of gangs. I think what they're calling it. But every kind of gang in this army or in this game has been really nice. Now they're coming out with a new box set called Dark Rising. Now this has two new, two completed gangs, the Twisted Corpse Grinder Cult and the Palanite Enforcers. Now I like both of these. The Grinder Cult are very different looking. They're kind of like corn, humans mixed together in like 40k kind of. But the Palanite Enforcers, I really like them because I think I talked about these before. A lot of them have different weapons a mixture between like big weapons and kind of hand pistols stuff like that and uh, i really like them uh in the box there comes uh some terrain as well the, i think it's called a modular zone and um, mortalis terrain it looks very good i really like it and of course you get your rules your dice and these kind of battle cards in it as well as i said there's no release date for this but they have announced that another book is coming uh, the Book of Rune is coming out soon, it says, and that's probably going to be well into the next year as well. So, moving on to Blood Bowl. So, any of you guys that have kind of disappointed with the Feast of Bones, we got no... Well, we got one new Ogre model, but that was it. We got a new book, we got a new Battle Tome, and that's kind of it. It kind of seems like the Ogres got swept under the rug a bit with the Ossiarch Bone Reapers coming out. But good news for Blood Bowl fans anyway. We have a new Ogre team. Now, we have the Fire Mountain Gut Busters. And these look really nice. I love, I fucking love Blood Bowl teams. They are so nice. I wish I was able to get all the teams and just build them up and have them. They look fantastic. And these guys look like they fit into an AOS army. No bother. You even get Nobblers with them, which I love. So the team consists of four Ogres and six Nobblers. Now you might think that's not a whole lot of Ogres in it. Um, there's too many little guys in it. But one of these Ogres is probably worth like two and a half. Or maybe two uh, Reichland Reavers models. They're huge. Ogres are massively strong in Blood Bowl. And they're going to be the big heavy hitters. They're probably going to be slow. Um, but they're fantastic models. They're going to hit strong. And they look like they'd easily fit into an AOS army. I'd probably pick up a box of these. And I'm going to add them into my Ogre army then as well. And of course for Blood Bowl we have the new Almanic book. Which covers all the new updated rules. It covers the rules from all the Spike updates. That Spike magazine that they had coming out. Um, from issue 7 up to whatever's the up to date number. Um, star player profiles and a very big FAQ it says. So that's Blood Bowl coming out. Warcry. We have a new Warband coming out for Warcry. Which is the Spire Tyrants. Now I like these. They're pretty cool, but they are very similar to the Untamed Beast Warband. But that's not the only thing I kind of spotted with these. They have two unique models. One is a... I think it's pronounced Bestigore. I would have said Beastigore, but it looks like it's spelled uh, or pronounced Bestigore. And the other one is a Dwarden guy. Now this guy looks like Cousin Ith, 
from the Adams family. His hair, his whole face and most of his body is covered in his hair or his beard and the helmet covers his eyes and everything. This has instantly become one of my favourite models I've ever seen. I am going to get this warband just for that little guy. Or if I can pick up that little guy by himself, I'm going to take it. I absolutely love this little guy. And then the final thing, as I said before, more news from Bandai. Bandai Chibi, I think it's pronounced. Uh, these are little small, uh, miniature, fun looking, little fluffy models. Um, but they're announcing that there's five of them coming out. We have the Primaris Intercessor, uh, Grey Knights, Sister of Battles, Katari Rangers, and the Assassin model. These are okay. These are something that I, I, that you could see getting sold in GameStop. Um, if they're not too dear, you'll probably pick up one or two and like just have them on your shelf or put them on your desk. They look pretty cool. Um, but... Space Marine Chibis, let me know what you think of that. So anyway, that's it for this week's Warhammer news. Very big news, well, a lot of news. Um, but we finally have a release there for the Osiak Bone Reapers. Coming out this Saturday, the 2nd November. I'm pretty sure it's the 2nd November when I checked the calendar a while ago. Um, it looks like it's the whole army. Um, I haven't seen the book, the Battle Tom, so I don't know what's missing from that list, if there is anything missing. But if, even if that isn't the whole army, it's still impressive. Eight big bloody units um, and one dual kit. Two dual kits. I think the other guys can be... They're not dual kits, but I think they're going to rearrange a good bit. Um, yeah, I love them. I can't wait to see them. I'm shitting myself to see what the prices are going to be for them. Uh, but they should be good. So let me know what you guys think of this week's Warhammer news. Are you excited for the Osiak Born Reapers? Are you excited for the Chibi Marines? The Primers Chibi? I can't wait to get that guy, yeah. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hit the like button, leave a comment. And once again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.